First of all, Bengals at Steelers part duh. Let's start off with you, Ted. Bengals, wow. You know, they, this tough run, we were going to discover who the Bengals were in this yes. run. They've already lost to the two teams in the division that are ahead of them, uh, that being the Steelers and the uh, the Ravens. They still got to play, it looks like both of them. Yeah, they still have games yes, against both of them, including oh, yeah. this week. This one's at the Steelers. I like the Steelers to win this game. Um, Andy Dalton showed me a lot coming back against Cleveland, but it was Cleveland. Mm-hmm. And it's good to see that the that the that some of the worst teams in football – aren't laying down at all because Cleveland really fought really hard in this game. They had a really good defensive performance. The Bengals really had to reach to pull it out. Um, with what I saw... Cleveland out of, played their best game of the oh, season Oh, yeah, yeah. They played week. extremely well. So that's a qualifier for the And close game, a couple sure. drops may yes. have, may, may have oh, had yes. it go the other way, especially oh, yes. from their rookie, so Greg Little. So many drops. Yes. Yeah, you know, uh, in some big situations. Colt McCoy was, was tough as nails in this game. So you give them a lot of credit. Um... But the Steelers barely survived last week too in a game that most people thought, you know, I'll, I'll turn it on the fourth, uh, the first quarter, and you know, I'll watch until the Steelers are up twenty-one to nothing, and then I'll, you know, do it because it was Monday Night Football. Uh, ben Roethlisberger, he's Sunday. got a finger he, uh, Sunday Night Football. He's got a big, in, he's got that that finger injury. I don't know how much that will affect him. Another week of rest. I think they get that offense back on track. They figure out a way to stop the Bengals, and uh, I'm gonna pick the Steelers. Even though I still like the Bengals as a football team, I like the Bengals as well. I think they're a year away from really jumping on the scene. They're going to be a pest for the Ravens and Steelers for years to come. What I learned from that Sunday night game, not just from the Steelers and Chiefs standpoint, is that how hard it is to win on the road in the National Football League. Arrowhead is also one of the toughest stadiums to win at, besides Seattle, That's New England, point. Green Bay. It is so difficult to win away from home, mm. and that game proved it. I think the Steelers are going to bounce back, and the, well, I mean. They won last week, but their offense is going to really come together this week. They're going to beat Cincinnati by two touchdowns. I was impressed with what I saw with Andy Dalton all this season in the last couple weeks leading those comebacks. But I think the schedule is going to start to wear on these guys a little bit. You know, you think of that rookie wall. When's that going to come? I think you're going to start to see it a little bit with Andy Dalton this week. Steelers win this one. I'm going to take the Steelers as well in this one. I'm such a big Bengals guy, as first-time listeners would not know, but people who have listened yeah. know that I just love the Cincinnati Bengals. But they're not going to win this game. Uh, Andy Dalton is playing fantastic. Cedric Benson is actually playing really well was as well. Awesome he against, was awesome against. He was awesome. awesome. Um, but Explosion. AJ Green was pretty good too, but he still looks a little bit injured, right? Um, he's not playing 100%. That's true. Um, but the Steelers are just a better football team, and I think that they are probably pretty disappointed in themselves after that Kansas City win. Mm-hmm, <laughs> so yeah. uh, I think they're I think they're going to bounce back, as you say. I'm, I'm going to take the Steelers in this one.